10 more amazing kitchen gadgets, 7.4 million views seven months ago. More awesome kitchen gadgets, 11 million views six months ago. Nine smartest kitchen gadgets you need in 2021, 82,000 views four months ago. It's pretty clear to me that the views are going to be exclusively on kitchen gadgets and that is that that's the reason that youtube exists that's the sole reason henceforth i swear maybe not henceforth i promise that i'm going to give up my youtube gaming career in lieu of a kitchen gadget review channel and so welcome to my very first episode you lucky lucky viewer we're going to review three new unique strange unusual crazy kitchen gadgets and we're going to try to figure out how to use them number one this is this is a fork. I think that's German. As you can see, it consists of, it's, a, it's like a tiny pitchfork. It consists of four tines. It's got uh, a curved bezeled surface, which gently slips up like a sine wave into a handle that tapers outward. Increasingly getting uh, wider until it comes to a blunted edge. Now, I, I assume that this is for tenderizing, maybe your lunch meat. Uh, the it doesn't seem very practical to hold it by the tines. So if we assume that this is the handle, then this could perhaps be used as a cheese scraper. Maybe an alternative way of getting your cheese uh, from the block form into the shredded form that you see in bags. I'm gonna rate this a three out of uh, 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 seven because it's really pretty to look at, and I think that this is probably a very niche part of our history. It kind of reminds me of like the old man in the picture holding, holding, hold on. Yeah, here we go. It, it's, it's all okay. You know what I'm talking about. You uncultured swine. I can kind of see, I can kind of see the appeal of rating these strange gadgets. This is called a spoon. That sounds a lot more Swedish in my opinion. So I'm thinking that that's probably what the, uh, the country of origin is. This one's a little bit dirty. It seems to have some food stuck on it. Uh, this, I think, has its convex shape, which is very much like an eye, a nearsighted eye that has not yet had a LASIK surgery performed on it yet. And I, I, I know that this has got something to do with its reflective surface acting as a sort of dinner mirror. So you're able to keep this, and I've seen this in photographs of like etiquette books and things, uh, you can pick this up and check your reflection and make sure you don't have any unsightly pock marks at the dinner table. And if, uh, if you need to see your upside down reflection, you can flip it and you can see the concave side has the image flipped. See, there I am. Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And that will allow you to view yourself upside down so that you don't have, you know, any problem. Uh, you can see everything that way, all 360 degrees of this, all this. This particular spoon has a decorative handle. I'm assuming that's what this part is. Of course, it could have been used possibly as a meat tenderizer. Our final mysterious kitchen gadget for the day is a, it's called a butter knife, but I mean, why would you need a knife to cut butter? And if it were a knife, wouldn't it be sharp? This one is not, oh, this is not sharp compared to, you know, a steak, a real knife. This also has a meat tenderizing function. It's my best guess. Other than that, perhaps this can be used as a paperweight to keep your paper plates from blowing away in the wind during picnics. This also has a nice broad, flat, reflective surface, but I think that the spoon did a much better job of allowing you to check yourself for any unsightly, disgusting features that you could change before uh, eating dinner with friends and family. This here is just uh, perhaps, perhaps more for self-defense at the dinner table. I can kind of imagine just from its balanced uh, center point and and the, sh the, the the general handling of it that it could be used to chuck across the table and nail your uncle Bob in the eyeball whenever he makes a crack about your mom's weight or anything like that you got to defend the honor of your parents and all of that but um, I'm gonna test this we're gonna go ahead and test this out on some actual real live 
on some actual inanimate food. Mm -hmm. All right, we have a plate of bread here. This is this is just a, a piece of standard uh, dinner fare. It's it's honey wheat bread, and I've put some butter on the butter knife, and we're just gonna watch it spread like I've seen. Perhaps the waviness is kind of indicative of the pattern I have to use in order to. You know what? That spreads rather easily actually that's that's kind of that's kind of satisfying i think i have found a kitchen gadget that i can actually get behind all right all right all right all right all right so there you have it three kitchen gadgets the butter knife the, f the f i feel like i'm gonna get demonetized if i say it the fork and the the spoon the sp the, the, the spoon the scoop the, the tiny scoopy and i mean i'm probably not going to keep any of them except for maybe the butter knife and that's because I, I've got some relatives that are really, really needing to get it, you know, and I just need to practice my throwing, my butter knife throwing. So this has this been Amalgamash, and I hope that you enjoyed. I can't wait for the subs and the views to start really raking in. I feel like this is this is my calling, and uh, we're gonna re we're gonna review. Uh, uh, we're, uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, t t cups in the next video Th thank you for watching tell rick mm. bye bye i'm not hungry